begin with breaking news in Norfolk, where police are investigating several shootings, including a late night homicide. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Katie Collette. And I'm Don Roberts. Norfolk police found one person shot to death on Ballview Avenue around 1115 last night. We also just found out about a shooting victim on Wayne Circle just off Norview Avenue. And that happened last night. And, and just after 8, police say a child was shot near Sherwood Forest Elementary School. Now, yesterday afternoon, we also learned a teenager shot more than a week ago on Lincoln Street died from his injuries. This morning, police are searching for suspects. 10 on your side's Kiana Patterson joins us now live from the scene of the latest deadly shooting. So, Kiana, what do police have to say about the victim? Well, police say the victim died here at the scene before they could take him to the hospital. And this is Ballview Avenue. Police were originally called here when a car crashed into the parked car. Now, as you can see, there are three cars right here that are damaged. And there's also one that is really damaged. You can see the tire is completely detached from the back. And also glass is covering the entire road. Now, I just spoke with a man who says he ran over to help the victim after he crashed. He says the victim was soaking wet and he originally thought that he was drunk. But since he was unresponsive, that's when he called 911. Take a look at this video of the crime scene. Dispatch tells us that police were called here when a car hit the parked car around 1115. But when officers got here, they found a man shot and he died here at the scene. Now, police are still trying to figure out exactly what led up to the shooting, but the Norfolk spokesperson says the crash and the shooting are connected. We spoke with Brian Green. He says his Jeep was one of those three cars damaged by the crash. I heard a couple gunshots, it sounded like. I mean, I, I figured maybe somebody had a blowout until I seen the car coming down the road. I've never been close to anything like that. It kind of shook me up a little. I'm still a little shook up. And a lot of people are shaken up here in the neighborhood. They say that nothing like this has ever happened on this street. And police say they need your help finding who did this. If you know anything at all, you're asked to call the crime line or you can submit an, a tip through the P3 app. In Norfolk, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.